Captain Chang, and I'm the Senior Admin for First Awesome Platoon. And my name is First Sergeant Buchanan, I'm the Head Artist for First Awesome Platoon. And this is a review of My Little Pony, Season 3, Episode 5. This episode is called Magic Duel, and Trixie, Trixie, from Episode 6, Season 1, Season 1, Episode 6, the 6th episode, out of all Frenchman's Magic, Trixie comes back. How random. Why Trixie? I want to know. I well, mean, I, I like to I mean it. Probably makes sense since she's like the main rival of Twilight Sparkle, who's obviously the main character of the, you know, six. So I guess mainly it's because she has some relevance as she kind of challenged Twilight when she was really early in her magic, and now that she's really late in her magic, you know, her old foe comes back to kind of give. I would assume to give kind of a, you know, that scene sounds like something. Kind of, that sounds like uh, I'm sorry, a plotline out of like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention. But I mean, it always seemed that, I don't know what the Bane's character's name was, but it always seemed that he would get a certain power up in his deck and then his rival would have a certain power up in his deck and they'd go at it. Main character always wins. Rival gets all really pissed off and goes off and tries to find something else. Then he comes back a couple episodes later like, I got the special card that's so going to beat you this time. And then, oh, I know the main character's name. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. The show is called Yu-Gi-Oh. The main character's name is Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Well, I'm ranting. Anyway, I would think that would be more interesting if um, Flim and Flam maybe came back. Don't you think? I mean... Well, I don't they... really think they were that big of a deal, really. They just kind of rolled in and then rolled out. And, yeah. No, but you see, Flim and Flam, they actually really did have something going. I mean, if, if the competition was to mass-produce something... They would win. The only reason why they lost is because the Apple family had to hire some extra help just to beat them. If it was just the Apple family with the amount of money that they're getting, they cannot afford all those extra workers. They would be run out of business. But, so, you see, the problem is that's that's an uneven battle because what could they do? Make their machine more, you know, what? they you know it, it Get really another mean. machine? Can you imagine? What's wrong with their machine? See, that's the thing. But Trixie, on the other hand... She did not have a lot of power. She got beat. Her pride was hurt, so now she goes, gets better power, and she comes back. Trixie's magic was all show, while Twilight's magic is actually true magic. So maybe she wouldn't so get it wasn't true even, magic. It wasn't even a battle between the two of them. It was Twilight feeling that her abilities, she didn't want to be boastful with them. And uh, so it was just understanding what's the difference between boasting and the difference between actually having... Yeah, but you see, when you learn that lesson that, oh, you can be confident... Then the very next lesson you learn is what happens when you are confident, but it's not good enough. Mm. See? Okay. That was never touched upon. All right. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I mean, I, I hate to, to you know play down the plot line, but it's it's pretty obvious that you know she's going to come, and then Trixie's actually going to be really, really powerful, and then Twilight's going to be like, but I was told to be really you know outgoing with my abilities, and I did, and they're not good enough. Now what? And then, I don't know, maybe she'll practice or... Maybe twi I mean, maybe Trixie will be cheating, or somehow Twilight will end up winning, and then I fail that Trixie will get run out of town again. That's my opinion. What about you? I agree, for the most part. Um, what I think is going to happen is Trixie comes back, of course, super powerful, but super powerful by, let's say, dark magic. And Ooh. then Twilight learns maybe some sort of light magic that's good. And so it's a just, little selling of your soul to the devil to win. Huh? I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but what I do know is this is a magic duel, and knowing Trixie, all of her tricks are aesthetic and uh, non-permanent. But it's been like two seasons. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, but I mean, I can just imagine, remember Twilight and that orange frog in the second episode, Pink, Too Many Pinkie Pies? Yes. That was hilarious. I laughed at that. I kind of feel they might actually slightly overdo it with too much magic. That's why they're going to do way too much. And now for My Little Pony, Season 3, Episode 5. Ooh, dark. It's like a scene out of Sherlock Holmes or something. Jack the Ripper! <laughs> Ooh. Thievery! Vandalism! May I help you, traveler? Hmm. Something drew you to my shop. Something powerful. This is a reference to something. Oh, it's Trixie. Ah, you have a keen eye. 
The Alicorn Amulet is one of the most mysterious and powerful of all the known magical charms. But I'm afraid this is far too dangerous. Ah! Oh, like <laughs> so I was right, she did kind of sell her soul to the devil. But how did she get all that money? My little pony, my little pony. Ah, uh, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And, and magic makes it all complete. Yeah, my little pony. Did you know you are my very best friend? That was beautiful. Angels are crying in heaven right now. Don't be scared, little friends. Twilight is wonderful with magic. Yeah, it turned a bunch of. Oh God! So help me! don't worry, Fluttershy. Twilight's magic has gotten a lot better since she accidentally crushed me and Applejack with a giant snowball. Oh, we remember that from Winter Wrap Up. Oh yeah. I just don't want my little friends to be scared. Look how scared they are! Yay! Fluttershy, nothing bad will happen to them. Yeah, except an uh, orange frog and uh, yeah, you don't have orange the best Have we fixed that yet? <laughs> she has every reason to be concerned. What what are, what are we trying to do here? That was it. Levitation. That's all for now, little ones. Yeah, I guess that was it. Again later. Well, I guess it must have been a little hard to right. manipulate multiple objects at once. Your magic has really improved since we came to Ponyville Twilight. Princess Celeste is gonna love it. Thanks, Spike. I have to be at my best when she arrives with the delegates from Saddle Arabia. I can't believe Saddle she's Arabia? Me with the entertainment. <laughs> Saddle Arabia? Look, look, oh my god. <laughs> Saddle, you know, I'll just drop it here. What the what? hell? I actually know what that means, and it's true. That shade of brown only should be used for accents. It's not a very good base color. Oh my God, it's Trixie! Oh! What's she doing here? You call that great and powerful? Oh God! Oh my God! Yeah, you remember when I said it was going to get ridiculous? Not quite yet. Look at that! <laughs> Complimenting. Oh my oh, god. God. <laughs> so is it legal to just kind of run around and screw around? Yeah, where, where are the cops, man? <laughs> This is this is like harassment. No, what would this legally be? I don't know. We'd have to make up more rules for it. Me and you, a magic duel. Winner stays. Loser leaves Ponyville forever. Forget it. Oh, her voice. I hate it so much. Your choice. Trixie, put him down. Go! Why are you doing it's this? Technically, basket. Whatever. Because you humiliated me. After you showed me up with that. Earth it, an movie. actual. Wow, it's it's like a flashback, but it's a, a laughing stock. It's a flashback that everybody can literally see. That's actually not what happened right there. She wasn't wearing I anything. Take a job on a rock farm just to earn a That's living. Pinkie Pie's father, I think. Oh, <laughs> yeah, things are kind of getting ridiculous. See, I told you. Magic man. There's... Oh god. Yeah, that's that's proper damage. That we actually have a rule against. Aloysius is like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> oh, she can't eat the kid. Oh. God. I accept your challenge. 
Icky. Icky. If I lose, I will oh, send okay. it <laughs> But if you lose, you're the one banished from this one house. How would she be able to breathe? <gasps> no, she would die. Right now. She would die. Okay, here we go. Still doesn't explain how she got what I lose. Okay, there's no way that Twilight can win off the bat, so she's probably gonna lose. Yeah, she's gonna lose. Oh my god, pies! Which is equivalent to guns. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. And returning pair. Wow, look at all these. Oh, wow, what oh have you god. done? Go <laughs> away. Oh my god. <laughs> Snow pony. What kind of magic duel is. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine this? Like, just two people just firing things at each other all day long? So this is turn-based, uh... Hey! Birth control glasses! But how can you do an age spell? That's only for the highest level unicorns! Well, Twilight, give up? How about instead of trying to single-handedly fix this, why don't you call the army or something? Or Princess Celestia! Oh, she's, she can do she's, magic. she's doing a, a spell that's very hard. Or just plain impossible. Fail. Ow! Every other spell that she said was hard, Is she's been able to do it. Oh, we're going by levels now. And now it's time for you to leave Ponyville. Forever! Fluttershy yell. That's enough, Trixie! You've proved your point, but you can't possibly expect Twilight to leave Ponyville! You Oh, this is gonna end badly. She's already gone. Ow, ow, ow. What a dick. And Yeah, Princess Celeste, there's a whole town. It, it's okay, it's not even it's not even a force field. It's an actual fishbowl. Just take care of each other and keep an eye on Trixie. There's something D strange about her. Dig under it. What are you t No. Okay. If she's powerful enough to put a giant fishbowl over the thing, don't you think she's powerful enough to prevent that? I think so. Think Probably. this out! Come on, man! Oh, now she's, now she's practicing. Age spell. Or not. <gasps> it's impossible. How could Trixie know such advanced magic? Without Spike, I can't get a message to the princess in Saddle Just Arabia. walk there! So oh, she's in Saudi Arabia. Princess. You have the most powerful <laughs> magic of all. Friendship. Oh, don't give me that. I love how they always go to her when they can't figure things out. No wonder you're dour. It's an abuse of power. I don't know what to do, Zakora. I feel like I've abandoned my friends, but I can't take her on horn to horn. If you train with me, <laughs> so good you be, I'll show you the way to make sure she won't stay. You'll train me in magic? But she was doing age spells, weather spells, you name it. When it comes to magic, it would be tragic if some pony licked me, especially Trixie. You really think I can beat her? I'm not so comfortable mm. with this. No, me neither. When do we start? <laughs> Sakura scares me. Wow. You two, hurry up with my throne. Um, this is an act of tyranny towards Princess Celestia. No kidding. She's just off doing foreign affair things while the country's falling apart. I ain't doing nothing till you let Twilight come home. So that amulet seems to be the one making her powerful. A lot of what makes you think that? I don't think that would hurt if you pricked the hoof. Oh, well, actually, the bottom half of it is pretty soft, so... Can't you just, like, walk the can of water? She's levitating no water while no sound, on water. No din, no How could she do magic? She's not this a unicorn. Is, this is, like... This is... She's Yoda, and he's... Is that her? Her. Um, her. Obi-Wan? Is it Obi-Wan that she trained? I don't know. 
Aw, she's letting it get to her. Aw, you must learn to have inner peace. There's much, much that I can teach, but the answer you need may still be out of reach. You know, Twilight's like... Sorry, Zakara. A student? I'm trying my best, but I can't stop thinking about Trixie. There was something different about her. It's like she's gone from high and mighty to mean and nasty. Your thinking needs a real... No, she was mean and nasty. Total yeah. concentration is a must. Okay, so we need to focus here. Yeah, um, Celestia, this is kind of a big <laughs> F you. I mean... Okay, we've seceded from Equestria. You, they've imprisoned the province. Are you okay with this, Miss Monarch? Can you imagine if something like this happened in Britain? Yeah, like the whole city just one, kind of one, one guy just sectioned off Liverpool with his own. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we've been like Liverpool's kind of gone. You know, I mean, Queen of England's like, ah, whatever, right? Yeah, I'm busy. In Saddle Arabia. Hold on, hold on. Time for us to consider Saddle our future in this new Trixie land. Oh, we do. Um, this sounds an awful lot like Trixie's magic. She wants me to grow up. Pay attention to Fluttershy. Now, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Um, there's a picture here of that necklace Trixie wears. <laughs> it's called the Alicorn Amulet, and whoever wears it is blessed with unto. Hey, everybody, look! This book has a picture of Trixie's necklace. It's called the Alicorn Amulet. Poor Fluttershy. And whoever wears it is blessed with untold powers. If you read a little further, you'll see. Even though it provides great power, it also guys the user. Yes, but um, you can't. You can't just take the Alicorn Amulet off her neck. It has a magical lock. Trixie's the only pony who can take it off. Maybe we need to get this information to Twilight. She'll know what to do. But how, how, if any of us try to leave, Trixie's magical force field will tell her. Maybe we should. Go. Try to sneak past. Wait, how did her wing get fixed? Oh, but she fixed everything except for Pinkie Pie's mouth. Oh yeah, that's right. What? What is safe, Fluttershy? Can you handle the mission? No. Oh, I didn't hear the mission. Perfect. Fluttershy will sneak out of Ponyville and find Twilight. Why Fluttershy? I think because she's the least threat. <laughs> oh. Okay. Assertiveness. I'm not sure if you could call that assertiveness, but... For a dangerous mission outfit. So she's gonna get a dangerous mission outfit. Yeah! Yeah! Some ponies set up the magic force field, and Trixie intends to punish them. But wouldn't it be faster if we had some wheels? The great and powerful Trixie doesn't trust wheels. Now pull faster. I wonder why. <laughs> Why would she do that? I was expecting, like, mutilation of some- oh god. <laughs> Why is she so mean to us? Yeah, I miss the days when she was just a fraud! Yeah. This is child abuse. She's breaking so many laws. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh dear. What in God's name is she wearing? Disguised as a bunny? I don't know. That was very sneaky. Hi, Fluttershy! The more the more it will corrupt her. But how am I supposed to beat that amulet? My magic's not good enough. Twilight Sparkle, much Save the world three have. times once you over, I mean. All of my lessons, all but one. If Chixie's tricks have Chixie. a fix, you must mix your magic and use the six. Friendship. Friendship. Oh, don't break that up. That's like a nuclear bomb. Genius. Friendship. Now we'll need to get you back inside Ponyville, Fluttershy. Friendship. So they're gonna pull that on Trixie. 
This will end bad. So this amulet is a really big deal. I guess so. You know, um, King Sobra wasn't even. I know he, he wasn't even that big of a deal. Trixie, well, you. What's the matter, Twilight Sparkle? Not enjoying your exile? I know about the Alicorn amulet. I know you cheated. Cheated? <laughs> yeah. And I thought you might want to see <laughs> Unconvincing. what a real magical amulet looks like. Zikora gave it to me. It's from beyond the Evergreen Forest. And oh, dark magic? Light game. magic! I was right! I have a feeling that's not real. more powerful than the Alicorn Amulet, and no pony's more powerful than the great and powerful Trixie! Care to put your amulet where your mouth is? How about another duel? She looks like Woodward. I always beat you. That's up to you, but I guess you'll never see the totally awesome magic from beyond the Everfree Forest. Come on, Sakura. Wait! <laughs> oh, this is so classic. Oh my god, look at this. Magic duel! So, you brought a, so, uh, a gun to a sword fight. Oh, that's that's so mean. Now we're doing gun versus gun. Here we go. Let's start with a simple age spell, shall we? Let's. I have a feeling half the town's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> They're so adorable. It, it hurts. Now, let's see what your little charm can do. No problem. Um, Applejack, Rarity, could you help me, please? Huh? Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. They're not quite as young. Did you see the big hat? I can do an age spell, big deal. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's impossible! That's nothing! <laughs> What? A uh, duplicate? Yeah. It's not so impressive. I mean, there's a pool nearby that can do that. <laughs> Ever see one pony play ten? Hey, look, Bon Bon Laura. Oh God. I would be so mad at out at unicorns for just all the just. I know you're just screwing with us, man. Ooh, one more. I can turn a mare into a stallion. Oh God. That I don't know how I feel about that. Trixie, <laughs> looks like my amulet is more powerful than yours. Hey, give it back! <laughs> what did you expect was gonna happen? With this amulet, I shall now rule all of Equestria. <laughs> Witness my subjects. Gaze upon an ever greater and powerfuler to me! <laughs> hey! I don't need that old alicorn amulet. I have this! Which is worthless, probably. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that tickles! That tickles? That was supposed to make you writhe in agony! This amulet is defective! <laughs> Back into a shop where you can buy it. <laughs> it's one of Zakora's doorstops. But, it is worthless. Uh, how did you do those spells? No pony can do those spells. You're right. Not even me. Zakora taught me so much about magic while I was in exile. She even taught me when not to use it. Ooh. So she cheated. Okay, okay, so it's big man. So I needed to use a different kind of magic. The magic of friendship. Hollywood! I also knew yep. the only pony who could get the amulet off your neck was you. But what about the pony with the ten instruments? That's not magic. That was just Pinkie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> she still doesn't have a mouth. That's a good way to solve problems that she was embarrassed, so let's embarrass her again. 
Who are those people? They're the Arabs! The Ar oh, oh, okay, I get it. Give us our oil. See, this is really a defense showing. So don't think about turning against us now. It's the least I could do. Oh, okay. I treated you and your friends so horribly when I was wearing that alicorn amulet. Yeah, but now I you're going to jail. You can forgive me, can't you? Sure. Oh, For a second there. Don't you think the great and apologetic Trixie is the most magnificent humble pony you've ever seen? Okay, so we're good. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we still haven't fixed that. We've broken the third wall. Well, that was an interesting episode. What did you think, for Sergeant? Well, originally I thought, I mean, I thought it was going to be good, and then bad, and then bad beats good, and then we eat up some time, and then good trains, and then comes back and beats bad, and then we would be done with it. But don't you think that's kind of a childish plot, because I mean, like, good beats bad, I mean, that doesn't really happen all the time. In fact, that actually rarely happens. You know, actually, that is a good point. I guess this is more of a realistic thing. Yeah, I mean... Good is really just the absence of bad, and in real life, good just doesn't exist. Okay, I can understand that. I know, so I see you, I, think, I know what you're talking about, you often see like, you know, just the power of good and the power of bad, and like, the good wins, but I mean, what, what is good? I mean, you see, this is kind of confusing when you really think about it that way. Well, in my opinion, I actually kind of like that part of the show because when I, you know, when she's like, oh, we got to use friendship, it's like, oh, they're going to break out the elements of harmony. We're going to get another nuclear blast. Just boom. And she's dead. But no, that actually was not happening. In fact, they actually pulled a fast one on me, which I'd like to admit happens quite a few times, actually. But I like to feel that I'm on top of this. And I, you know, oh, this is a kid show. I know what's going to happen because I'm a big old adult. But no, totally, totally got my surprise. You know, when she said the power of friendship, she literally meant like, the part and power of working together as opposed to just some magical force of goodness. So I like that. I enjoyed that part. I think it was very satisfying how it's like, you must have uh, concentration, young one. You must concentrate so you can become more powerful to beat this amulet. And it's just like, I can't do it, Sakura. I can't. Well, we can always just trick him. All right, sounds good. <laughs> but I mean, it worked because I mean, what know, a sneaky <laughs> little zebra. <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> put on a show that tricks her. Mm. And if I heard correctly, Saudi, no, 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 Saddle Arabia? <laughs> Saddle Arabia. Saddle Arabia. Yes. What? Why, why did we have um, uh, representatives from Saddle Arabia come down to Ponyville to do, what, what do you think that was all about? Why do you think oh, they were here? You know, we want to get their oil, obviously. Oil? Why, why do you think we need oil? To run the front of the we floats. Have, yeah, we have, to, we have motors in our floats. It, yeah, we're, we're developing a new car industry, and Celestia saw us and needs uh, to um, um, uh, procure, she needs to acquire some... Uh, oil resources. That's oil resources. So, I mean, we come here, show you a good time, I maybe build a company in your land, maybe? Well, it's obvious that, you know, the magic show is really just defense showing, like, oh, look what we can do. Man, yeah, see, this was see this amazing, you. amazing mm. spell that we're doing? We are very much more powerful than oh, you. Yes. We are more valuable as a friend than an enemy, don't you think, uh, oh, yes. people from Saddle Arabia? Hello, James Winchester here with EBC News, here in Ponyville during the full national meeting between Saddle Arabia and Equestria. Here I have me, we're here today, is Prince Jalalabad. 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 He is the representative for Saddle Arabia. Sir, what did you think about the magic proceeding? Well, I must say they were absolutely beautiful. I saw little creatures flying through the air and everything. It was amazing. But I had to ask, where is the king? King? Yes, of Equestria. There's no king. Is there a queen? No. We just have um, a prince, uh, two princesses. Um, we have Princess Celestia, who leads during the sun or the daytime. Then we have um, Princess Luna, who runs during the night. They work together. How does it even make sense? It just does. So you have two women running your country. In Saudi Arabia, women can't even walk the streets without a man in escort, and you have two of them running your country? Well, in all fairness, sir, your wife wasn't even wearing a bow. Oh, come on, come on, come on! And then Trixie gets off with just a little slap on, not even a slap on her wrist. It was like... Okay, magic duel is one thing, you know, you beat fair and square, but then taking over 
the oh I, I guess that was the amulet that amulet that I was doing that that was oh yeah yeah it was just her first amulet. intent no was just to beat her in a magic duel so it was just um, to get back at her and then I I she takes over a whole city and puts a big dome over it and basically makes yeah. everyone okay slaves. first of all where's the military where's the police I mean what kind of country <laughs> are you running Princess Celestia. You don't, I mean, your royal guards haven't been able to stop one single big incident that came up. Discord came up. Um, not not came even up. just the girl with the magic wand. Not even that. Not, you can't, even, can't even do that. You can't even come and beat up a, what is it? They don't even show up. Yeah, I know. They're just kind of like sitting back like, ah, oh, they'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, um, your majesty, there seems to be a province down over there called Ponyville. You, you know, I'll deal with it later. Where, I'm no, busy with foreign affairs. You know, where the, 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 you know, the six saviors of our world... <laughs> Live. The nuclear defense program essentially is situated there too. It's quite a There's important. There's essentially city. been a, a, a coup d'état, and they, they've established themselves as a separate nation. Are we going to do anything about it? Nah. My goodness. What a military. What a what world. A military. Oh my god. Yeah. I would not feel very safe in this world. So one has to remember that good is not inherently more powerful than evil. I know a lot of people feel that you know because good is just more powerful and it's just more. No, but honestly, I would argue that actually evil is more powerful than good. And so I like how what they did was, you know, they're like, yeah, yeah, evil is more powerful. But when the good people team up and work together, they can overcome the good. I mean, just think of World War II. I mean, the evil was so much more powerful than the good. And just in the beginning when it was just one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, they, Germany just, gah, gah, gah. And it wasn't until everybody worked together, all the good people, which, let's be honest, besides America, of course, they were pretty weak. You know, they're just, they're pretty weak and wimpy compared to almighty Germany, but if they all Condolences to Can Canada, France, Britain, and everyone else who helped. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't mean that I'm sorry. Anyways, so anyways, so once they all work together, I mean, because even, even what I said, think about it this way. I wonder even if America could have beaten Germany all by themselves. See, that's a question you got to wonder yourself. So, <laughs> anyways... My point being that I like it's a little more realistic where it says, yes, evil is more powerful than good, but when good works together, they can beat evil. All right, Cap. One out of ten. What are you saying? Saddle Arabia. Saddle Arabia. Yeah. That gets good. Ten out of ten for me. What I thought about the episode, or what I expected to see from the episode, was your classic story. Here's the bad guy, here's the good guy, bad guy comes, beats up the good guy, good guy goes away, becomes more good, it comes back and beats him with good. That's what I expected to see, which is a very standard format that most kid shows do. I mean, it's a very, very easy to set up thing. But no, they did a very realistic thing where it's, there's no such thing as just pure good. There's no such thing as just pure good. It's just the absence of bad. So. You know what? Sometimes you just can't beat them. They're, they're just too powerful. So you gotta cheat. You gotta <laughs> cheat and trick them and outsmart them. Yes, exactly. That was that was a very realistic uh, thing. Although, um, I do have to kind of dock them just a little tiny bit. I mean, an age spell is what stops them. I mean, the main six got together and did this crazy rainbow thing that destroyed Discord and she can't do an age spell. Well, that, that kind of set them up for the, the trickery, you know? Yeah, I know, okay, but I mean, you know, a little bit more creative on that. And then the second thing was just, uh, Trixie pretty much, like, broke so many laws. <laughs> Holy crap, and not even the it's smidgen. It's like, okay, you're forgiven. Not even the smidgenest amount of punishment whatsoever. I mean, like, Celestia's just like, I'm sorry, wait, what happened? Uh, a fishbowl over Ponyville and flags and tyranny and, and enslaved us pretty much. What are you going to do about it? I mean, if Celestia does have a dungeon, I mean, it must be empty because if that doesn't warrant prison, prison. I mean, what do you have to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this episode, very, very close, very close, but still gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Very close, though. Very low 10. According to one AP admin cluster bomb, this episode is possibly a new favorite in my book. The return of Trixie was appealing enough, yet it went beyond that. I laughed a lot, from Fluttershy being her adorable self up to Trixie growing a mustache. The story flowed smoothly. There was one thing that bugged me like crazy though. Couldn't Fluttershy just dig under the force field dome? But now I'm just nitpicking. This is the first episode I really think deserves a solid 10 out of 10. One AP admin, Saber, said this episode was super awesome. Super awesome? Super awesome. Super awesome! This episode was very enjoyable from start to finish. The references were hilarious. I like the references. 
with Pinky's mouth being put into the recycle bin as well as Apple Stallion. It was a laugh riot. The animation and background detail were all top notch as usual. There were a few plot holes that I could point out with the age spell and the Twilight somehow forgetting that there was a second princess that she could have contacted, but still a great episode. Gets a big 10 out of 10 from me. According to 1ABM and Blue Court, this episode was so much fun in so many different ways that I lost count how many times I laughed during it. I think what set this episode so high was all the references and wonderful nods to us bronies, particularly in canonizing things like the Alicorn and bringing us back to fandom favorites such as Pinkie Pie's family's rock farm and Sakura, along with introducing us to even new elements of the world like Saudi Saddle Arabia. Production-wise, this was an episode in which crew really gave it all during their effort to make a top-notch episode. The pacing was a bit fast, but since we had such a good idea where things were supposed to go, it prevented the story from being drawn out. The animation was taken in new directions because of the plot, and I liked the fact that we had fun with it. The voice acting was superb, especially from the wonderful Kathleen Barr as she portrayed the dejected and indigent Trixie. A rock farm! The great and powerful Trixie doesn't trust whales. This episode rates a full 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week when we review My Little Pony Season 3, Episode 6. And until then, keep calm and brony on!